Hi, I'm James Raisbeck. I work at Raisbeck Engineering. We're having a little session here to uh, respond to the King Air Nations program of Ask Raisbeck. Those of you who have written in uh, with questions have provided me with some real challenges. This is an interesting one. To Raisbeck, how do you determine which aircraft you want to develop modifications for? Eric Fullerton. That's a good question. Uh, I can answer most of it uh, that isn't proprietary, but I think if you follow the interest of the customer and the number of customers, you can come up almost with your own answers. So in general, our criteria are, number one, we would like to pick on an airplane that is uh, currently in production, of which there are many, many, many out there, and uh, which are operated by people who can afford to buy our products when we get them done. Naturally, the King Air family, with 6,200 of them flying and counting, uh, and all three models of C90, 250, and 350 in production, naturally, that fit the bill. The second is to find out which one of the parameters uh, that uh, constitute uh, the desirable things in an airplane can we profit uh, uh, can we affect number one is crew is uh, payload how much will it carry number two is range how far will it carry it number three is cruise speed or block speed how fast can it get it there number four is where will it get it into and out of operational flexibility takeoff and landing the fifth one is what is the effect on indirect and direct operating costs? The sixth one is what is the resale value? How is it affected? And integrate with that, integral with that, is something I like to call ramp appeal or airplane sex appeal. For example, our swept blade turbofan propellers has a lot of that feature. And the seventh is we probably don't want to do this on airplanes, even in the King Air family, which uh, are operated by that are operated by people who who uh, struggle to uh, keep out of the red. Unless you've never seen us on the Beach 99, and you've not seen us on the Beach 1900, and probably never will. So those are our criteria. There are others, uh, other. Airplanes we've looked at, we have done the Learjet in years past, which fit that, those criteria at the time. And we certainly could look at the Cessna jets and, and uh, see what's going on there. There, uh, there are a lot of common wings and a lot of common tails and a lot, a lot of commonality between most of those citations that don't involve, don't have to involve changing the engine. So that's, uh, that's it for this session. I really appreciate you, you sending these questions and it gets me thinking, which is good for an old duff. Thank you.